I'm going to be ranking the best Amethyst cards in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier, and we have about 25 of the best Amethyst cards in the game. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys' favorite Amethyst cards in the game right now, and let me know what you guys have changed about my tier list. But first, Amethyst card here is going to be Amethyst Danny Green. I would say he's probably going to be in either that C tier or B tier category. I think for now, I'm going to throw him in B tier. He's still a great two-way shooting guard, six foot six with a six foot ten wingspan. He's He's got a 93 ball 84 mid range with a super nice release that's very easy to green and gonna be pretty fast as well he's also got the mj dribble style and a pretty good leaner so offensively he's definitely gonna be a beast especially in the catch and shoot and then defensively he's gonna be a great defender 90 steel 93 lateral quickness 91 perimeter with also having an 82 block and an 80 interior defense so overall i think danny green probably gonna be in that b tier category looking at a guy like amethyst john collins i'm probably gonna go c tier unless i'm tripping i haven't looked at this card too much but i'm really not the biggest fan of john collins when i did use him for a couple of games in limited so john collins here i mean he's a power forward center six foot nine with a six foot eleven wingspan i mean defensively definitely not going to be the best and i'm not really the biggest fan of his jump shot i think if you do like his jump shot then maybe you could put him in b tier but for me the only thing this card's really good at is going to the basket and that is something that you want to be good at this year because obviously that's the meta of the game going to the basket and finishing you know just basically going up on anything because defense this year really isn't the best in the paint so it's really easy to score you know just running to the basket so i'd say john collins gonna be really good at that but not a great defender and i don't think he has a great jump shot as well and can't really handle the ball so i'd say for me john collins probably gonna be in that c tier category talking about amethyst jared allen definitely gonna be in the s tier category if you guys don't know s tier is gonna be my top five amethyst cards in the game and i would say jared allen 1000 percent gonna be in that s tier category he's probably still or maybe still is the best amethyst card in the game he's six foot ten with a seven foot five wingspan i mean this card as a center is just super well rounded 91 three ball with hall of fame corner specialist and has some really good shooting badges including go a gold catch uh, catch and shoot claymore dead eye green machine he's also got silver amped blinders guard up in limitless range as well and we all know jared allen going to be amazing on the defensive end having a 90 block 92 interior defense with also having a 79 lateral quickness 79 perimeter so it's not like he's going to be a bad defense defender on the perimeter and he's also got an 80 steal as well and then finishing around the rim he's going to be great at 90 driving dunk with a 90 standing dunk speed i mean you could say is a little bit low but for most centers at this time of the year obviously we have guys like cream with 88 speed and these faster centers but if you give him a speed shoe boost and you have a guy like monty williams i mean you can get that up to an 88 as well so i feel like a speed is definitely going to be fine if you're running this amethyst card in my opinion definitely going to be in the top five looking at anthony simons I would say he's probably going to be an A tier, maybe in the S tier category. You, got, you guys got to remember, it's only the top five Amethyst cards, so I'm going to keep him in A tier for now, but all around, he's a great point guard that's really good at going to the basket and going to be very good on the offensive end. Looking at a guy like Amethyst Batum, I mean, he's well-rounded, but he really isn't the best of cards. Like, he can do everything at a decent level, but not going to excel at anything. Like, he's not a great three-point shooter. He's not a great defender. Like, he's just kind of average at everything, so I'd say he's probably going to be in that C tier category. Look Looking at a guy like Amethyst Bull Bull. Now, this is a tough one because I feel like a lot of people love Bull Bull or you kind of don't really like him. I would say for me, he's probably going to be in that C tier category for the reason um, he's just not a good defender. I mean, 65 steel, you know, 50 lateral quickness, 58 perimeter, only a 79 interior defense, 89 block. I mean, the 89 block is really good, but you really don't get that many good block animations this year. So having a high block doesn't really matter too much. And he's only got uh, 68 speed, 68 acceleration. And we all know strength at 65 for your center is definitely not going to be the best. Now, looking at the positives about this card, I mean, he's a seven foot two center with a seven foot seven wingspan, and he's got a great jump shot and he can knock down threes, having that Hall of Fame catch and shoot and an 80 two three ball so so i think you probably maybe could put him in beats here i think that's definitely a debate let me know in the comment section down below would you guys have bull bull and beats here or c tier i think for me i'm gonna go with that c tier category looking at amethyst bruce bowen 1000 percent gonna be in that b tier category in my opinion he's basically just a better danny green so i'd say if we're gonna rank the b tier i would say bruce bowen probably a little bit better than danny green i mean if you talk about the cards they're both just gonna be great two-way shooting guards right really good on the offensive end like knocking down threes because bruce bowen does have a very good 
good jump shot and he's going to be a great defender as well i would say bruce bowen is a little bit better on the offensive end you know kind of moving with the ball and i do think he's just god uh, does he have the mj dribble style no he has the pro dribble style so maybe danny green is still better i've had a lot more success with his bruce bowen card so i would say he's probably a little bit better but that could definitely be up for debate i think they're very close and very similar shooting guards looking at amethyst lebron here i mean just because it's lebron and he just has such good animations in game i would say he's probably going to be in that b tier category i mean if you take a look at his stats not like he has great stats, but I mean, he's pretty well rounded. He is a six foot nine small forward, so great height for that small forward position. I mean, other than the 78 three ball, you know, 65 block, definitely a little bit low, but like I said, block doesn't really matter this year too much. 64 steel, not the best, but I mean, LeBron's going to give you some good defense. We all know he's going to be unstoppable going to the basket. He's got a great player model in game, and he actually has a really good jump shot this year. So I would say LeBron, honestly, going to be in that B tier category for the best Amethyst cards in the game. Looking at Amethyst, Karis Lavert, 1000% going to be my S tier category it's probably between him and jared allen for who's the best amethyst card in the game because this lavert man is an absolute beast he's a, a small four shooting guard six foot six with a six foot ten wingspan and this card he can play some defense man 90 steel 92 lateral quickness 91 perimeter with also having an 84 interior defense yes only a 69 block but like i said multiple times I don't feel like block is really that necessary this year, especially on your shooting guard. And then other than that, I mean, the card is just going to be very well rounded, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He does have an 86 three ball, 86 mid range, but he does actually have a really good jump shot and the MJ dribble style as well. So card can move pretty nice and can knock down some threes. So I would say he's probably going to be, or, or sorry, no, definitely going to be in my S tier category and probably the best or the second best Amethyst card in the game. Looking at uh, Amethyst Robert Williams, I think he's going to be definitely an A tier, maybe even in that S tier category. But just just like a guy like Anthony, there's so many other Amethyst cards we have to talk about, so I'm gonna keep him in the A tier category for now. Looking at uh, Amethyst Duncan Robinson. I would say he's probably going to be in B tier. He's not a bad shooting guard, but I think he's going to be probably in high C tier or low B tier. Looking at Amethyst Gerald Green, definitely going to be in my A tier category. I think he's better than guys like Bruce Bowen, Duncan Robinson, Danny Green. I do think he's better at the shooting guard position. He just came out, so he's the more up to date card, the more newer card. He's a shooting guard, small forward, six foot seven with a six foot nine wingspan. I mean, this card completely is just su uh, uh, it's just more a com more of a complete card than guys like Bruce Bowen and Danny Green because those are kind of two-way cards really good three-point shooters and really good defenders but gerald green gonna be a solid defender he's six foot seven at the shooting guard position and he's gonna play some decent defense but the main thing about this card and the reason why he's so good is because he's got a 97 driving dunk with a 94 vertical so he's gonna be unstoppable going to the basket he's got an 86 three ball 84 mid-range he's pretty fast for an amethyst card 89 speed 89 acceleration and he actually does have a pretty solid jump shot and the normal leaner as well so for me i would say he's probably gonna be in that a tier category maybe even in the S tier. Looking at uh, Amethyst Giannis, now, this is a tricky one because it's still Giannis and he's still going to have some great animations. So I would say he's probably still going to be in that A tier category. I need to check out his stats just a little bit to see, but I'm pretty sure his stats are definitely well rounded. I mean, if you take a look at his stats, like defensively, he's going to give you some amazing defense at the power forward spot 80 block, 82 steel, 89 lateral quickness, 87 perimeter with an 86 interior defense. He's got 85 speed, 85 acceleration. We all know he's going to be just like LeBron, unstoppable going to the rim, 86 driving dunk with an 80 vertical. The only flaw with this card is going to be the 66 three ball but Giannis this year actually has a pretty solid jump shot and they gave him the mj dribble style which is the best dribble style in the game and they also gave him the normal leaner as well so i would say Giannis probably going to be in my a tier category i think you could maybe even argue in that s tier looking at amethyst jamie grant I mean, he's going to be another A tier card. Like, there's so many good Amethyst cards in the game right now. And Jeremy Grant is another one of them. Like, he's a super well rounded small forward that's pretty much just good at everything. Talking about Dennis Smith Jr., another really good Amethyst card. I mean, we're talking about some really good cards here. Like, all of these guys, I feel like, deserve to be an A tier, and some of them will be in that S tier category. Dennis Smith Jr., though, basically be very similar to a guy like Anthony Simmons. Just going to be both really athletic and really good at going to the basket and very good offensive point guards. Looking at Amethyst, Robert Ori. I mean, this card, I really don't. Don't like anymore i mean when he first came out he was like one of the best budget cards in the game but more the more times that i've used him and played against him i just feel like he's only one dimensional where he's got a good jump shot and he's got a 93 ball but that's pretty much it for the card can't really play good uh, that good at defense so i'd say he's probably going to be in my c tier category now talking about amethyst jj reddick i think he's going to be in high b tier 
I mean, the only flaw with this card, or one of the only big flaws with this card, is the fact that he's six foot four, which is definitely going to be a little bit of a problem at the shooting guard spot. To me, feels a little bit undersized. I mean, offensively though, this card's an absolute beast. He's just going to lack a lot on the defensive end, stats and height wise. Like six foot four and has these type of defensive stats, he's going to get bullied at the shooting guard position. But I mean, offensively, this card's an absolute bucket. 95 driving dunk, 95 vertical, 97 three ball, 91 speed. Card's got a great jump shot and the normal leaner. So I mean, if you're looking for an offensive shooting guard he's got so many gold uh, so many gold shooting badges and some really good offensive stats so i would say he's going to be probably still in my b tier category and one of the best cards in b tier talking about amethyst kelly Ubre, i would say he's also going to be in that a tier category another really good shooting uh another really good shooting uh, another really good amethyst shooting guard small forward going to be very similar to a guy like gerald green talking about amethyst lamarcus aldrich I would say he's probably going to be in that B tier category. I think he's better than a guy like Bull Bull by a little bit, just because he's probably a better three point shooter and he's going to be a way better defender. Talking about Amethyst Mo Bamba. Honestly, I think he's probably going to have to be in that A tier category. There's so many good Amethyst cards in the game. We'll obviously move the tier list around a little bit more later, but I mean, he's a center who's seven foot with a seven foot 10 wingspan. He's got an 85 three ball and a really good release in game. Like if you guys haven't tried this out, definitely try out his jump shot before you make an opinion on this card because he's got a really good release and we all know he's going to be good on the defensive end. 92 block, 84 interior defense, even having a 74 perimeter and 69 lateral quickness. Definitely is not bad for your center. He's going to be good at finishing around the rim and he's going to be a great rebounder as well having hall of fame anchor is going to be super nice to have on your center so i would say mo bamba probably going to be in my a tier category looking at amethyst miles turner i would say he's probably going to be in high b tier actually a pretty solid card that's very versatile at the center or power four position looking at vucevic i think him miles turner are all going to be uh, him miles turner and la are all going to be very very similar centers they're not going to be the fastest but they're all going to be very good stretch bigs i would say vucevic is going to be very similar to a guy like lamarcus aldrich looking at amethyst Ruben, uh, Ruben Patterson don't really like the card too much I would say Sean Livingston probably going to be in that C tier category once again I mean he's a good tall point guard six foot seven but that is pretty much it and then Terry Rozier I mean if we're not counting the Evo going to be in my C tier category so now guys we actually have to move three cards from A tier up into the S tier category let me know in the comment section down below out of all the amethyst cards in A tier which three would you guys move up into the S tier spot so for me first off I'm probably going to move Dennis Smith Jr because to me I think he's the best point uh best amethyst point guard in the game better than a guy like anthony simmons so i think he's going to be the first guy that gets moved up to s tier the second guys i'm looking at or the second guy i'm looking at honestly is between Giannis, kelly Oubre, and gerald green and I think I'm going to lean towards Kelly. I think he's a more complete shooting guard than a guy like Gerald Green. So I think he's going to be in my S tier category. And then for the last S tier spot, I'm looking between guys like Mo Bamba, Giannis, and Robert Williams. And this is a tough call. I'm not exactly sure who I want to go with. I think I'm going to lean towards Robert Williams because I have used the card a lot more than guys like Giannis and guys like Mo Bamba. But I think you could definitely make an argument for those guys being in the S tier category. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about my Amethyst card tier list? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.